Um, so I will show you around the apparatus. So the thing is that for me, um, the, what I like about sound is that when it can be performative and when it can also be visually stimulating. So the kind of, um, the, the set design is also an instrument itself. So you have that this tape um, is, it is one loop and it goes through this tape machine and it plays sound. So you really have a visual loop. Because we work a lot with loops and we work a lot with surround sound, but this is also sound that's visually going around. Um, and these, this can all be played like an instrument as well on the, the other tapes, which I won't give too much away. We can let that happen in the piece. This is the headphones that everybody has to wear. Um, and every, yeah. You all have your own volume button, so you can handle it like however you want to do that. And um, this will basically be on for the whole piece. So we're using headphones um, because I understood that in this time where we're not allowed to get close to anybody, uh, apart from our household or yeah, that sort of thing. Um, I, originally in the piece I actually had thought I would get really close to the audience and also choose somebody in the audience to be my friend and ask them to hold my hand sometimes and things and that that's completely been erased but what I somehow I feel also grateful for realizing that through sound we can we can create a similar sort of intimacy and here is the binaural microphone so this is the it's got two ears it's, it's been like the closest person I've been allowed to get to uh, in this time, <laughs> during this time. And uh, this, this, is, this is basically how, how we're managing to create this uh, 5D sound world. If I walk around, actually we are all amplified. So if the audience speaks, they also actually hear themselves in the, in the space. So in that sense, the whole room is amplified. From there, we start to build 